All right, guys. So today I am interviewing Israel, uh, which is a pleasure. Thank you, Israel, for taking the time. Appreciate it. So Israel, uh, you joined the mentorship um, a while back, um, right? So so we would we would we would call you an OG um, for the program and uh, and all that. But uh, your story is is really really cool. So um let's jump right into it so like what were you doing right before you joined uh joined my program well i'm I'm a concrete contractor i still am a concrete contractor um at the time i just got a license from my real estate i was gonna go that path and then uh, one of my friends he i i saw that he was uh, doing recruiting uh, i wanted to learn a little bit more about what he was doing because i saw that he was doing pretty good you know that staying at home uh, then, you know, then have to do a work from home kind of job. And that's kind of what I was looking for, something like that. Mm. And then I kind of like, thought, OK, I'm going to look into this, this guy, but I don't want to look like I'm stealing his idea or whatever. But I know he had his own recruiting business. Yeah. So then I started asking little questions here and there about it. And then uh, he gave me some information. Then I started doing my own research on YouTube and uh, started looking at videos. And that's when I found you pretty much on your YouTube videos. And then, uh, then I just started to say, hey, man, you know, this is the one I'm closest to. I know there's some other recruiters on there, but this is the one. I, you were kind of like the one I felt closer, more like a, like a human kind of person other than, you know, the, the sales kind of person, <laughs> which the other one was like more like a sales thing. So then you took the leap and you jumped in um, and, and you, you, you bet on yourself, right? You know, yeah, yeah, um, yeah. and all that. So I, I love that. So um let's talk uh i mean obviously like you just mentioned you answered my second question which was you had no previous recruiting experience this is oh, all man. new to you you were just getting in so yeah. i love that um so let's talk this how many contracts did you get once you got into the program like got into the program how many contracts after that i say immediately um because I, I learned a lot of business development through your through your mentorship program so immediately I started getting contracts. I want to say within my first three months, I had probably about five contracts already. I love that. Yeah. I love that. And, and I, then closed it, my, I closed my first deal within the actually little over one month that I was closing my first deal. Right. Right on par, which is what we aim for. So yeah. you hit that right on the mark. Um, and so, and then in total contracts, there's, you got more than that in the first, in the first couple of months you got, those and then you landed like more than that right yeah oh yeah yeah so i pretty much got to a point where i was overwhelmed with contracts where i couldn't right. even fill, fill them all because i was just overwhelmed i just had too too many too many yeah yeah that happens that yeah. happens when you yeah. when you go hard in, in the business development yeah it was crazy it was just like i couldn't believe it <laughs> my docu sign was just like <laughs> blowing up yeah it was good yeah. problems to have though yeah oh yeah for sure yeah it just sucks when you can't fill every single one. You know? Exactly. Right. Because I'm a one guy. So, you know, and I still am, you know, I still am. Yeah, absolutely. Right. You want to help everybody, but you got to balance it. Um, so that leads me right into, okay, so you got the contracts, you got everything kind of flowing. So basically you joined the program. Since you joined the program, everybody wants to know, hey, how much money did this dude make? Right. How much revenue did you make once you joined the program? Uh, I remember my first check was 15,000. Okay. Remember that. And I think from here on, it, it's a little over a hundred thousand so far. Gotcha. So and north of, figures. north of six figures. And yeah. I know you just mentioned you, you just capped off a 12,000 for oh, this yeah. year. Oh, already. Right. Last week deposit 12 grand. <laughs> so. Cha-ching. Yeah. Insert, insert that. Um, uh, that's amazing, man. I, I mean, it's, you know, just, just the, the, the progression, right. You know, contract, contract, revenue, revenue, and then scale, you know? Um, and the unique part about it is that you're actually taking a little bit of a different approach to it. Right. So, you know, I think this is interesting for people to know because you actually, right. You have, a, you have, no, you were running a nine to five job during the program. You still have the nine to five job, which is actually your own, your own company, your own concrete company. But tell us a little bit about that dynamic because you you actually do recruiting in your spare time now and you still kill it in recruiting. That's pretty much what it is. I do it on the spare time. You know, um, I have clients that, you know, 
that I work for, you know, and I fill in a job and they come back to me, hey, I, could you get me this other guy, you know, because, you know, I, I do the best I can to get them as many cans as I can. But if I was to sit down and do it full time, I, I, I could make a lot more. A you lot would explode. More. Yeah. yeah. But I have to run my other con- concrete business, you know, because it's it's pretty much a stream of income. Don't want to. And a family yeah. business too. Yeah, so yeah, and a family business. Tie right? it in. Yeah, exactly. yeah I totally exactly. get that. So, um, yeah. so you 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 went through. You were working in the nine to five. You absolutely crushed it. Um, you went hard. Um, you did everything you were supposed to do. Um, and uh, and you bet on yourself. Um, so let me ask you this. Anybody that's catching this interview, you know, what's your like number one piece of advice to them or thought or concept of like, Hey, if they're thinking about getting into recruiting, what would you say to them? Don't get discouraged. Um, even if there's like a, you got a deal one uh, one month and you haven't gotten any success within a couple of months, do not get discouraged because that one deal or a couple of deals are going to come back, come and they're going to make up for the little gap you have. Um, try to focus on a niche. When I started, I was kind of like all over the place. That's why I got so many contracts. When I started, I was doing, Mm -hmm. uh, uh, tech, uh, health, uh, auto sales. I was just trying to hit everything. I found it cause I'm, I'm in construction. I've been in construction pretty much my whole life. Um, as you know, when I was working. So to me, I was familiar with it. So kind of like niche down to that. I kind of tried it. I wasn't planning on just niching down to that, but I noticed it was easier. So that's what I was familiar with. So if you, if, if you, even if you don't have a background or something, kind of learn that, learn that, that industry, and niche down to that because when you get a client, you could act when you get a client and they're looking for someone in that field, it's a lot easier to find candidates. You already probably have candidates already in that field. You right. already have your resumes already in that field. So it'd be a lot quicker, easier to feel that. Another thing is sure. that the client's also going to you know, appreciate that. Say, hey, you know what, that's my industry. And I'm talking to I'm talking to other recruiters, they they work in every field. You're actually just working in that field. Right. So it's a, it's a big plus for that for them. Yeah. You rather work with me versus the guy that's working for some big corporate company that has a, you know that private won't even be able to fill the position. <laughs> right. Right. Yeah. Whereas you'll be there to take the calls, text, and engage with them on that personal yeah. level. I know the lingo. Yeah, the language, and they know mine, and so you know. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. So even I'm just saying that's because I'm in construction. But if I was to do not not do construction, I was again into another field. I would just learn that industry, learn that niche, about right. that just stick to that one, you know, I could, I could, I could actually do another niche too. If I, if, you know, if I got, of course. Did, yeah, I could pick something like warehouse logistics or something and just stick to that, you know, magic. It all makes money. Yeah. 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 And I could just learn that and learn everything. And I could learn that, you know, anybody could learn any niche, you know, just, you know, stick to, stick to one. Don't, don't go too crazy about going all over the place. It just gets really stressful like that. Sure. Sure. I love, I love your story, man. I love your story and I love uh, your success. And uh, I'm so happy that we, that we had the chance to work together and, and where you're at now and especially where you're going because I know you're going big places. Um, so I'm super excited for that. Hey, thank you for spending the time real quick just to, just to recap kind of like what you've done in the program and how everything worked out for you. Really, really appreciate it. So um, hopefully we can interview you again. Uh, let's say when you hit that seven figure mark. Oh yeah. <laughs> Sound good? Yeah, sounds good. All right, man. Appreciate you. Thank you. Okay. Thank you.